Today, in this rebuild, part three, Polaris 400 liquid cooled two stroke. Show you how to calculate crankshaft end play. Digital caliper, straight edge, case halves, and your crankshaft. First measurement we'll want to note down is uh, zero at your caliper. We're going to want to know the width of our straight edge. Width of the straight edge is 0.997, so we'll want to write that number down. Width of straight edge, 0.997 inches. And next what we'll want to do is place the straight edge here. And we'll want to measure the distance from the top of the straight edge to the edge of the inner race of the bearing. You want to do that for the left side. You want to swing over here do that for the right side and then you'll want to go and get the width of your crankshaft where the inner races of the bearing would sit you'll want to write all that information down and then from there you'll be able to calculate the end play which will be your left side measurement right side measurement minus the width of the crankshaft and again for these Polaris uh, 400 liquid cooled two strokes the end play spec is eight thousandths to sixteen thousandths. So I'll uh, start with the left side and we'll go from there. So first we'll start with the left side. Take your straight edge, place it across the left side case like that. You want to grab your digital caliper. And for that you want to take the one end, place it against the inner race, keep it flush against your straight edge. And what you'll want to do is lower this end down until it's flush with the top of your straight edge. So keeping everything square, again on your inner race, square against your straight edge, with the bottom of the caliper on the top of your straight edge. First measurement we have is 2.202 inches. So from there, you'll want to write down Left side total, 2.202 .202 inches. Right side, you'll want to do similar method. Put your straight edge across your case half. Take your caliper. Rest the bottom on the inner race. Again, keep your caliper flush against the straight edge. Then lower down your caliper till it hits the top of the straight edge. A dimension here, 2.252. So we'll want to record that. Right side total, 2.252 inches. After you have that, you want to measure the width of the crankshaft where your inner races would sit. There. And there, again, that side, that side, that measurement we have is 2.444. So we'll want to write that down, crankshaft width, 2.444 inches. Now what we'll want to do is calculate the left side total minus width of the straight edge. That will give you the actual distance from the crankshaft mating surface to this surface of the inner race. Do the same for the right side. Right side total minus width of the straight edge. That will give you the mating surface here to the inner surface of the, of the bearing. And then the end play we'll calculate it'll be the left side plus the right side minus the crankshaft width and uh, I'll calculate those next. All right 2.202 subtract 0.997 1.205 for the left side right side 2.252 subtract 0.997 1.255 let's do some math the end play equals the left 
1.205 plus the right 1.255 minus the crankshaft 2.444 calculate those numbers you get 0 0.016 the spec here is 8 thousandths 16 thousandths here we calculated 16 thousandths of an inch so what we'll probably want to do before you put this together you'll want to take a shim like I have here take a shim I can show you we'll measure the thickness of this and uh, follow up so I went ahead and measured the thickness of this shim and it came out to point 009 so this must be the 0.2 millimeter shim is actually eight thousandths the 0.3 millimeter shim is twelve thousandths so uh whether it's eight or nine that's what we got subtract that off the 0.016 so we end up with seven thousandths eight thousandths which is i mean at the low end of the end play spec but uh, it, it, it'll work just fine and that shim goes here on the PTO side of your crankshaft so when you're putting it together just make sure you don't forget that shim but there you have it that's how you calculate the crankshaft end play on a Polaris 400